Hello, this is Sal. We have here this uh, network for company that is currently set up using two separate VLANs, VLAN 5 and VLAN 10. In addition, all trunk ports are configured with native VLAN 15. A network admin wants to add a redundant link between switch 1 and switch 2. The link must have trunking enabled and all security requirements should be in place. In addition, the network admin wants to connect a management PC to switch A. The admin would like to enable management PC to connect to all switches and the router, but does not want any other devices to connect to the management PC or the switches. The admin would like to create a new VLAN 24 management purposes. Now, let us create a redundant link between switch 1 and switch 2 and we will be using a cross over cable connect port 1023 on switch 1 to 1023 so here on switch 1 we want to configure the link or the port between switch 1 and switch 2 enable configure terminal interface gig 1023 switch port trunk native VLAN 15 switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q and switch port mode trunk now let's do the same on switch two enable configure terminal interface one zero twenty three switch port trunk native switch port trunk native VLAN 15 switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q switch port mode trunk do no shot and just double check here to do also no shot now let us enable VLAN 20 as a management VLAN the idea is that we want to access all switch and routing devices using a management PC for security purposes, we want to ensure that all managed devices are on a separate VLAN. Now, we will enable the management VLAN, which is VLAN 20, on switch A. Enable, configure terminal, VLAN 20. We will create an interface VLAN 20 and assign an IP address with with the 192.168.20.0 uh, slash 24 network. Enter VLAN 20 IP address 192. 168.20.200 with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and we will open the port with no shot we will do the same on switch B enable configure terminal VLAN 
20 enter vlan 20 ip address 192.168.20.201 with a subnet mask 255.255.255.0 no shot. We'll move to switch one. VLAN twenty. Enter VLAN twenty. IP address one ninety two one sixty eight dot twenty dot 202 on the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and make sure that the port is open and we will do the same on switch 2 VLAN 20 enter VLAN 20 IP address 192.168.20.203 with the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and no shot. The same with the central switch. Enable, configure terminal. VLAN 20 enter VLAN 20 IP address for the central 192.168.20.204 the subnet mask 255.255.0 with no shot Now I will connect and configure the management PC. Here I will connect the management PC to switch A port F0 slash 1. And I want to ensure that I'll assign an available IP address within the 192.168.20.0 uh, slash 24 subnet mask network. One ninety two one sixty eight dot twenty. We will give the management PC. and this subnet mask and the gateway 192.168.20.1 okay now on switch A I will make sure that the management PC is part of VLAN 20 Exit interface at zero one switch port mode access switch port access VLAN twenty. Sorry about that. There should be a space. Enter. No shot. Now let us verif verify connectivity of the management PC to all switches. The management PC should be able to ping switch 1, switch B, switch 2 and central. Ping 192.168 dot twenty dot two oh one a 
that's nice and 202 we have a reply and 203 same and with central it is 204 now let us make sure to enable the management PC to access router 1 we will enable a new sub interface on router 1 here if you can see on the left I configured the sub interfaces for VLAN 5, VLAN 10, VLAN 15 now we will add even I uh, wrote down here the sub interface for VLAN 20 but now we will configure it enable Cisco configure terminal interface zero zero one dot twenty encapsulation dot one q for VLAN twenty the IP address one ninety two one sixty eight dot twenty dot one with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 now let us uh, verify connectivity between the management PC and router 1 let's ping router 1 192 168.20.1 we have a reply back and now let us uh, enable security on the network only the management PC must be able to access the router no other PC should be able to access the management VLAN we will create an access list that allows only the management PC to access the router exit access list one permit host we want only the host which is the management PC to access the router the host or the management PC with the IP address 192.168.20.210 line BTY04 access class 1 now we will uh, verify security let us verify that the management PC can access the router I will use SSH to access router 1 with username admin and password of Cisco SSH link admin 192.168 dot twenty dot one Cisco enable and Cisco and now we can remotely connect from PC the management PC to the router now from the management PC we need to ping switch A switch B and the router we ping the router here we will exit ping 192.168.20.201 and the central PC 
Now let us uh, create another access list, an extended list, extended access list, so no other PC can access the management network. Access list, extended access list, give it a number 101. We want to deny IP from any host on the network to the management network which is 192.168.20.0 the wildcard 0.0.0.255 enter access list 101 but we will permit IP from any to any destination. Now I will apply the access list to the management interface on the router. Interface uh, zero zero one sub interface twenty. IP access group 101 out. Let us verify that if PC D4 from VLAN 10 can access the router. Admin 192.168.20.1 connection refused by host. Thank you for watching. I will be working on other uh, videos to make things easy for you to understand. Please if you have any questions uh, just write me a comment and I will be gladly to answer you back with whatever information you are seeking. Thank you so much and see you next video.